Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd. So today was a pretty cool day. I got to go and meet another YouTuber here in person. So it was a lot of fun. It's Connie from Connie's Crafty Corner. Is that right? Yeah. I'll link her channel below. Definitely go check her out. She is such a sweet lady. It was a lot of fun meeting her. And she gifted me these two giant bags of yarn, which I'm going to go through here in a minute. Um, but it was a lot of fun sitting and talking to her and just visiting for a while. And June actually let her hold her. And June doesn't let anyone hold her, hardly, except me and Devin. So it was pretty cool that she uh, let her hold her. But yeah, so anyways, uh, we took a picture all on Saturday at some point. <laughs> and it was just a lot of fun. And she's moving to Tennessee soon. So hopefully her and I can meet up more in the future. <laughs> but I also wanted to come on here and show you guys a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got some more Happy Mail and then just, um, oh, I wanted to show you some uh, badges that I made and some work that I did on my Nightmare Before Christmas and my groomies. So, just random mail stuff. I feel like I have some stuck in my nose. <laughs> I guess I should have, like, checked that. But I got my zippers, which I mentioned I ordered. <laughs> they're actually three different sizes. They're, like, with rubber bands. I think they're 16 inches, 12 inches, and... 8 inches or something like that, I can't remember. But I use them for like notion pouches and zipper project bags. And eventually I want to start using um, the zipper by the, the yard where you can make the zipper any size you want. But I just haven't purchased any of that yet. I'm going to try some out eventually. I got my zippers and I got some more um, Amazon gifts from Connie actually. So I got this little bag here of Halloween uh, charms, like for stitch markers. So I'm excited about that. I already have a bunch of uh, Halloween stitch markers made from a few years ago, but I can always have more. She also got me a box of tea pens. Uh, this is for like when you're blocking something. I haven't opened it yet, but they're in there. And then the last thing from her was this, which is a sharpener for the blades on rotary cutters. Uh, I never knew this existed. My sister showed me one, and then I ended up adding it to my wish list forever ago. Uh, one of the intentions of buying it so I'm definitely gonna be trying that out you put it on there and you like twist it and it somehow sharpens it uh, I don't know if it's gonna work really good or not but that's cool I'm gonna definitely try that out <laughs> and then the last thing that I purchased was I bought a bunch of the um, hardwares <laughs> for uh, the key fobs like I made myself one recently uh, I bought a whole bunch of those so I can make some more to maybe add to my shop eventually I think there's I don't know if there's a hundred in here or not. It's all worn out the label. I think it's 60. I think it says 60, but I can't read it good. I think there's 60 of them there. So I'll be doing that. Also, when I was at Walmart, they had some Halloween, um, like, headbands and stuff stocked. And I found some really cute scrunchies. So this is just, like, an orange uh, metallic one. This one has pumpkins and bats. And this one looks like tinsel. <laughs> so I had to buy these. These were, like, $5, I think, for the, four, the three of them. Totally worth it. I love these. I can't wait to wear them. I'm excited about them. All right. And then I got a package from my friend Phyllis. And uh, come here. Let's go a little bit closer. <laughs> um, she just sends me stuff randomly. And she sent me some fabric. Uh, I guess these are remnants that she purchases because we talk to each other all the time. And um, she shows me like remnants that she bought from Joann's. But here's one. It's like a birthday or like a party uh, print. And it's animals with party hats on. That's so cute. <laughs> Let's see here. There's a fox, a dog, a rabbit, a cat, a giraffe. Oh, there's also a duck. That's so cute. <laughs> and then she sent two uh, fat quarters of this like Halloween print. It's a ghost at Sam Boo. Super cute. And then she said, I've had this fabric before. It's got like a, tra a chicken driving a tractor full of with a wagon full of yarn and a sheep. It does say knit chicks, but... Uh, I mean, they got yarn, so. But I'm pretty sure I've had some of this before. I think I got some a long time ago. And then there's two Christmas prints. There's one that's really cute with elves. We like presents. And then there's this one. At first I thought it was like a tooth fairy print because this is the first one I saw. But then I, as you turn it, like if, as you look at it more, you can tell it's like a Christmas print. Let me open it better. It's just like a really... It's not like in your face Christmas, but it's really pretty. I like it. So that's what she sent me. That's all the happy mail that I got. 
and stuff that I ordered. Uh, oh, I also got a popcorn pot, <laughs> which we've used twice today. <laughs> Me and Jesse love popcorn, so we're going to use that a lot. Uh, also, I, I got the badge maker the other day. So me, I went to my sister's and we made some. I actually made two and gave them to Connie. You can see them in her video and I'll also insert a picture. I forgot to take a picture. So the picture that I took was on the way to meet her this morning. So it's pretty funny. Oh, oh, oh. Did you drop your spoons? No, you still got one. <laughs> so here's another one of the ones with the yarn heart with a crochet hook in it. And then I also just made one with my name. <laughs> this was one of the first ones we made. So, yeah, but um, I, I left it at my sister's house. She's going to make up some more of the No Catch Name ones that I gave to Connie because I want some of those to, like, maybe add either to my shop or to Happy Mail packages to people. <laughs> so she's going to make those for me. Now you drop your spoon. Here's one. Spoon. <laughs> okay, so now my um, number for Christmas. I did finish Jack and Oogie Boogie. And then I went to my sister's to get her to make felt eyes for me and a mouth. So she did make me jack eyes, but she's going to have to make me another one because I accidentally messed up one of them. I somehow got glue on both sides. And for some reason, I couldn't get the glue to stick to his face. I used fabric glue and also like um, universal glue. Um, neither of them would work, but the Oogie Boogie one stuck. So I don't know if the yarns are different or what. But I did put the Oogie Boogie, his eyes and his mouth on. They are felt. So it looks really cool. He's done, except I got to weave in his eyebrows. <laughs> and also got to go around his whole body with black thread. And stitch it to make it look like he's sewn together like a bag. Because he's like a burlap, sa burlap sack full of bugs. <laughs> if you don't know. And um, also, he has a little worm. Right here. That I got to put in his hand <laughs> so he's almost done but I got his face on there and for whatever reason Jack's eyes would not stick with the glue so I'm, she's gonna make me another eye I gotta measure this and send it back to her <laughs> to tell her what size yeah that's funny <laughs> and then I'm probably just gonna hot glue them on and then his nose and his mouth will be stitched on with embroidered floss so he's getting there so I am gonna try to make Sally next which is the rag doll because uh, I believe I have cars that will pass good for hers. She's, do you want to do the episode? Because you're talking off a lot. Anyways, now I'm going to get that yarn and go through it. It's going to take a minute. There's a lot in there. <laughs> she gave me a lot of yarn, which I am thankful for. Um, but yeah, so it's a lot of it. I'm going to grab them and show them to you. So here is the bags. They're heavy. <laughs> It's too big of the Santa sacks or whatever. I remember seeing people haul these and um, always wanted one of these bags and I got two of them. <laughs> so I'm excited. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show you all this yarn. It's gonna take a minute and I'm gonna have to stack it all up in front of me. Uh, and I'll fit it all fit. Okay, so first there's a bunch of this Premier Anti-Peeling Everyday Bulky. It is a number six super bulky and there's 87 yards in each ball. So first there is lavender, and there's, I think, five. Yeah, there's five of those. They're pretty. And then there's five of the same yarn in the color coral. It's a pretty peach coral color. And then there's five of, I think there's five of each of them. Maybe not, maybe there's four of these. There's four. <laughs> it's just called pink. And then there's four. What's this color? Mint. These are all the same yarns. Um, Premier Anti Pillin. Uh, super bulky. Everyday bulky. And then there's four. Uh, magenta. <laughs> it's already piling up. Oh, wait, there is five magenta and five mint. <laughs> and then down at the bottom of this, there's some mandala uh, cakes. So this one is Mothra. I think there's multiples of those. Of that one. Uh, another one. <laughs> 
there's three of them. Four of those, of that one. And this one doesn't have a label. But I can tell it's a mandala. And at the very bottom is this one, which is, I guess it's a mandala as well, but it's not either of these two, it's a different one. So that's the first bag. So now I'll get the second bag. All right, bag number two has an item that she made when she found out her daughter was pregnant, but it's a girl item. So it was before she found out what the gender was. So she gave it to me and said that I could use it for June. It doesn't have the buttons on it, but she gave me buttons to put on it. So it's a cute little dress, so it's, it needs buttons right here. And she made booties and a hat. And this little organza bag has the buttons in it and a bunch of little safety out pieces packs in there. So there are some Mandela ombres in here. This one, uh, I think it's the same as this one. Mantra. There's two of those. And this is another Mandela ombre, but it is Harmony. It's like a denim color. So Mantra and Harmony. And then there's like one and a half of a lime, of lime brand ice cream pistachio. And here is a comfy cotton blend whipped cream. I don't think I had any of these con cakes, so it's pretty cool to get some of those. And there's two of this uh, comfy cotton blend. I don't know what that word is. It's like a coffee name. Macchiato, maybe? I guess what it is. And then there's some cotton, Karen cotton ripple cakes, which I've never had. This one is called Clay Pot. It's really pretty. And then there's Sun Flare, really pretty yellow. I think this is another one of those. Another Sun Flare. This one is Meadow. This one is Copper Rose. Another clay pot. And then there are two more sunflowers. So there's four sunflowers. Flares. And the bottom of the bag is Clearview. And another copper rose, those two of those ones. And there's like a scrap hair of a, the cream color one. So that's all of it. Whew. That is a bunch of yarn that she gifted me. <laughs> so now I have to find somewhere to put all this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop off here because she is someone to fit. <laughs> I'm trying to keep her distracted. But I have to edit this a lot, but that's okay. Put this yarn up and I'll see you guys in the video. Check out Connie's channel, I'll leave it linked below. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.